What's up guys? Welcome back to the Painted 3D tutorial series. Today's video is over the config. Uh, if you're not sure what that is, you'll learn right here in today's video. So just be sure to watch this whole thing and let's go ahead and get this thing started. So first what you want to do, as you can already see right here, I have a config uh, folder and I have files already in there. I'm just going to, ahead, going to go ahead and make a new one for you guys. So go ahead and right click on my folder right there, new file. Go ahead and type, uh, I'll make mine test, you can name whatever you want, test config, just make sure at the very end of it it has .prc. Now this may pop up, just make sure it has a text right here, just like that right there. Alright, and here's your config right here. So what you can do in the config is you can set a lot of different things using the config. You can set the title of the window, you can set the icon, the, t the window's image, uh, so you can set this picture down here. You can also set uh, the default uh, model, model um, ending, model default model, whatever I forget what it's called, but you can set the default. You can uh, you can set many things. There's many different things you can do with this. You're well, more than welcome to play around with this. Uh, there's tons of there's tons and tons of uh, different config variables you can mess with. You can even create some if you know how to. I'm just going to be going over the basics on that on the configs. So uh, let's do a basic one right here. So go. You will name the window title. So all this does it names the when the title of the window. Um, just name this Toontown. All right. So we have your first config variable right here. You don't need to put anything other than Toontown. No quotes. Nothing. Once you have this here, let's go into your window file and right here, make sure. When you're loading up your uh, when you're loading up your config, you want to make sure it's the very first thing you do. I don't know why this happens. I don't know why you need to do this. Just make sure it's the very first thing you do. Um, I've noticed in the past that uh, you can't. It doesn't load up if you're not if it's not the first thing that you do. I don't know why. So what you want to do is from from panda 3 dcore import load prc file. All right, so that calls the PRC file uh, from the core uh, from the core folder from the Panty 3D folder, and then you want to go ahead and do if this is just a check to see if the program is running debug. Like I said, all that does is checks if the program is actually running, and then you want to do load PRC file, and you go config slash test config dot PRC. Now another thing, um, I've noticed that it doesn't work for me if uh, I don't have this config file within a folder, like if it's out here with the window file right here, it will not load up properly. I'm not sure why this is, but it does work when it's like this. Alright, so let's go ahead and run this. Wait for it to load real quick. As you can see right here, it has named the t window title Toontown, and so we made a little bit of progress. All right, so let's go ahead and do the icon, the image, this thing down here. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. All right, so what you want to do is icon dash file name, and you want to enter enter the uh, path of the file, the path of the things. I I don't know how to word it, and uh, it's in phase three, etc. And it's icon dot ico right here. So what we want to do is phase underscore three slash etc slash icon dot ico now this this icon right here may vary between it may vary on what image you have depending on where you got your face files um, mine is toontown rewritten so as you can see right here there is there it is right there got the toontown rewritten logo right there all right so let's go ahead and do the cursor as well so you want to do cursor file name and the cursor is in the same spot as the icon, so it's tune mono, tune mono dot cur. So go ahead and phase underscore three slash etc slash tune mono dot cur. That's just a cursor file. Go ahead and run that. You can see the tune town cursor is now in effect. Look at that beautiful little pixelated image. All right. Um. Let's see what else can we do. Um. Let's see. Okay. Default model path. We can do that as well. If Alright, so it's called so right here, default model extension. And what this does, it sets it sets the default extension and so it's kinda hard to explain, so go ahead and over go ahead over to your window file. So 
if you when you put when you set a default model extension it basically sets this right here so you don't have to write it so when I set it, it you won't have to write dot bam so go ahead and take dot bam out you won't have to write dot bam for any other file you're loading if it, as long as it's dot bam you don't have to put the file name now if it's a different file you will have to put the file name like say you're loading an image you have to do dot jpeg because otherwise it'll try to load it as dot bam so go ahead and do default model extension dot bam all right go ahead and run it as you can see loads up that's just uh it just saves saves a little space saves a little bite saves some bytes not too big of a thing but I find it to be very helpful helpful all right so another thing we can do is we can do show frame show frame rate meter and all you gotta do is set this to true or false you know to, now you can either do that by saying uh, actually writing out true or false or you can do hashtag true or a hashtag false I'm gonna show you that it works with hashtag true so you put hashtag true and it shows you the FPS in the top right corner put hashtag false it's hidden it's all it's already hidden to default so you don't have to put it if you don't want it to show there um, or you can do true right here and it'll show up and there it goes okay so the next thing we can do is set the window size so we can go win size and we'll set it by set it to whatever you want so I'm gonna set mine to 1280 by 720 that's a default HD thing and there it goes sets the window for you right there uh, there's many other things you can do I will leave a link in the I'll leave a link in the description to all the config variables that you can access you guys you're more than welcome to read through everything if you want if you have time uh, I'll just go over a few more things so we have Next up, we have Win Origin. Win Origin it sets where the window is placed on the screen, so I'll put it at 100, 100, and like I said, it sets where it's going to be placed. So it's at 100 pixels, 100 pixels to the right, 100 pixels, 100 pixels down. I cannot talk. I apologize. And that's all that does. Next thing we can do is we can do Sync Sync Dash Video. Now what this does is that it configures the program to only get a maximum FPS of what your monitor is capable of handling. So I'm gonna put that at true. If it, it's default set at true, uh, if you do, if you want it at false, it'll go as high as it possibly can. Um, I'm not sure if, how high mine will go. Like it'll go 749 FPS right there. But you want to set this at true so your monitor does not burn out and the bulb in your monitor does not burn out. See it goes. That's going up to 660 right there. So that's a good thing right there to use. Another thing you can do is you can call full screen right here. And that's that's gonna be a Boolean result. So you can either put true or false. I'll show you what it's like to be at true, but okay, I'm just gonna show you what it's gonna be like at true. Now uh, just a precaution. Um, you will want to have you will you have to uh, load up your task manager because you cannot exit out once you're in full screen at least see here you go you got full screen right here so I'm just gonna open my tax manager real quick because that's what happens to that and so yeah and then you want to go ahead and close the program I just leave that a default false unless I have my escape key set to exit the game um, but I don't have that yet and I doubt you and even if you have it already you can go ahead and you already know how that works I'm just gonna show you guys I'm showing you guys how to do all this stuff right here Another thing you can do is new cursor hidden. Uh, that's default true be, or default false because you want your cursor to show. I, at least I do. Now what this does is it hides your cursor, obviously. But so I just keep that set at false. I usually don't even write that because it's already set at default false. But it's nice to have it in there just so you have it in there. Obviously, right, so here's some cool things you can do with the audio. You can do audio. Uh, if I spell it right, audio active. That's obviously set at true, but we don't have any audio playing right now, so I can't. You can't really test this, but uh, it does work. It's automatically set at true. You can go ahead and set it to false. That just mutes all audio, but uh, we're going to keep that set at true. Also, you can do audio, audio, library name, and now in, within Painted 3D, there is multiple libraries of audios that you can use. So let me pull up those real quick. Audio libraries, Painted 3D. 
And uh, basically, they're just different libraries, that lo and you can do different things with the different libraries. There is one called OpenAL, which is a well-known and popular open-source audio library that Panda 3D uses. There's also an FMOD uh, audio library, and that's the one I prefer to use because it loads up most any any kind of sound file. But you cannot use that if you're using if you're making a program that's for commercial use, unless you have purchased a license to use that. There's also one called Miles. Uh, it's not included in the downloadable binaries of Panda 3D, so you have to purchase Miles if you want to use that. But we're just, I just go ahead and use FMOD. So um, let me pull this up real quick. So you, all you do is you call p3fmod underscore audio and that'll load up that audio file. Um, I tend to use that because I tend to have mp3s or WAV files that I have for my audios and that allows me to load that up. OpenAL is good for what you want to do but um, it doesn't load up WAV files or files that I want sometimes and I don't really like to get into messing with converting the audio files to certain ones so that it works it's just kinda complicated you can also go ahead and call background color and what you do is you input an RGB value so I'm gonna do one 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 alright and you'll see the background is now white right there and if you do zero 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 it will be black zero space zero space zero and that should return black right there right there there you go but I tend to not mess with this because I like the default background color and I don't really use much the background color as it is because I just that's not really useful I mean it's useful but I just don't really use it much alright so another thing you can do with uh, the config is you can go over in here you can load up individual uh, you can load up individual parts of it so like if you just want to do the show frame rate meter and hide that to false or hide that uh, you can do that you can also change change these parameters within your program and so go ahead and add this right here load PRC file data and that that when you call that it just loads up the certain thing you want so you go call that method and put uh, put some uh, quotations right there and then make some more quotations and do uh, let's do show frame rate meter as false. So that's going to hide the frame rate meter. And there it is, it's not up there anymore. And if you go ahead and omit this line real quick just to see if it works, and there it is, the frame rate meter. And so that's how you access just the individual PRC file data and just go ahead and change that as well. Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you guys like this video, be sure to leave a like down below. If you guys want to see more of this stuff and you guys want to keep updated with my post, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you guys want to see something specific or get a specific video on something about Panda 3D, leave that in the comments below. I will try to get back to you. I'll try and actually answer your uh, response as well with a video. Um, or I'll just leave a link to something. I, I will know. I'll try to help you out the best I can. But like I said, thanks for watching guys. And I'll see you guys next time. Sam is out.